There is probably no more dangerous place to work than the deck of an aircraft carrier. 30-ton jets loaded with weapons come barreling in at 150 miles an hour to land on a tiny deck, often in the dark of night. When photographer Neil Miller and I went on special assignment aboard the USS Carl Vinson, we met some young men from Arizona who faced those dangers on the deck. Jets are launched off the carrier deck at such a rapid fire pace that it takes only minutes to put 30 fighters into the sky. And the planes are recovered one every 45 seconds. The arresting cable retracts, the pilot taxis immediately off to the side, while another jet touches down. There is virtually no room for mistakes. I think the uh, directors have the most dangerous job because they got to direct the aircraft, make sure nobody's in the way. They have to watch what they're doing, watch what everybody else is doing, to make sure they don't injure nobody. Men who work on the flight deck communicate with hand signals. Their movements are so finely choreographed that some call it the dance on the deck. The color of the jersey tells what kind of job a man performs on the deck. Yellow jerseys direct the movement of planes. White jerseys are in charge of safety. Red handle weapons. Purple refuel the planes. Green run the catapults. And the men who check the planes before takeoff wear checkers. So many men and so many machines moving amid so much noise that the dangers are everywhere. The intake of a jet engine is so powerful it can suck a man into the blades and devour him. It happens about once a year. A tailpipe turns and the jet blast can knock a man overboard. When the aircraft does turn on, you have to jump down, try and grab something, and just hold on until it too goes by you or something like that. But there's a lot of close calls out there. An arresting cable can snap, recoil, and slice a man in half. And there is always the danger of an incoming jet crashing on the deck in an explosion of weapons and fuel. You have to look out for each other. You know, if you make a mistake, someone will tell you about it if you're doing something wrong or if you're getting too close. You know, even the guys who work under me, even my E1s say, if I'm doing something wrong, they'll tell me about it. Like they say, you can keep your head on a swivel. And everybody does out there, you know, but it's, it's so busy out there, it happens. Tomorrow night, we will show you why aircraft carriers are sometimes called cities on the sea. They even have a TV station. I can't wait to see that. Okay. Thanks for joining us tonight on New Center 10 p.m. Have a good weekend.